In this video, I'm going to show you how you can add this row of icons on your lock screen. It's especially useful because you can finally customize it to a degree. Right now, we only have the camera and the flashlight, but you're going to be able to add here pretty much anything you want. So let's just begin with it. First of all, you're going to need iOS 16 and more specifically iOS 16.1. This is going to be the requirement. And other than that, you're only going to need a third party app to download it. Well, the third party app is this one right here. As you can see, this it's the rocket launcher, whatever you want to call it. But this app allows you to customize it in a way that you can add anything to the lock screen. So you open up the app. And what you are supposed to do at first is to go to this section right here. It's an icon of the dynamic island. On iPhone 14 Pro, you can even customize that. But on every other iPhone, you can customize the lock screen like you can see right here. Anyway, you tap on it and make sure that live activities slash dynamic island is actually enabled. I said that iOS 16.1 is required. That's because live activities first appeared in the iPhone uh, running iOS 16.1 before it was not available. Anyway, you come back and what you can do here is to add any favorite apps that you want. So you can click on add action choose action and it can be some system settings, Apple apps, hot apps. I'm going to go through all of them. So let's just take a look at, for example, the Apple apps. Anyways, you click on phone, you hit save and now it is part of these apps. So you come back to the lock screen. You can see that it just appeared here for me. The first time you click an app, it may ask you to make sure to click on open. Once again, you're going to have to confirm it one more time, but from now on, you're not going to have to worry about it. Just take a look at this. You could see some animation in between, but it's really not that important because it gets you inside the app quickly. So this is how you can use it. However, there are other things you can customize in here. By the way, if we haven't met before, this is Fox Tech, a tech channel that doesn't just review the latest stuff, but instead it answers your Apple related questions. So make sure to subscribe and we can continue. Anyways, for example, you click on Instagram and it's going to open up Instagram. You can follow me there as well. I mean, I didn't want to say that, but if you click on the three dots right here, you can customize it. So for example, you can click on edit and you can choose what happens when you tap on it. So obviously it's going to be an Instagram, but you can change the name. You can change the icon even for popular apps like Instagram. For example, you even have some other options here you can see like different types of the logo you can choose from your photo library so you can even download anything from the uh, from the internet or you can have some general icons you can choose pretty much whatever you want you can see some popular weather related and stuff like that so there is a lot to pick from and you can even test run it like you can see the bug icon to see if it actually does work for real but yeah it's not really a problem Anyways, you can add how many icons you want, but these were just the apps. I mean, it doesn't, it's not limited to just apps. For example, you can see system settings. So you can see location settings, Wi-Fi settings, Bluetooth, and all other things right here. You can see I tapped on a cellular, uh, but um, yeah, I mean, let's just take with the cellular hit save. And now if we come back to the lock screen, you can see one more icon has been added with the cellular. Tap it on it, jumps right to the cellular settings. So it's really a nice thing. Like I said, it has to be on the 16.1 because it's technically a live activity. But other than that, it's a very useful app and you can choose many different things. For example, even your personal website. So you can type in your URL and choose a different icon for that. So it's going to use your default browser. It could be Safari, it could be Chrome, and it's going to get there instantly. So you can have your favorite website stored on your iPhone all the time. So it's a really a nice app. Of course, it's a free one, and I'm going to put the link to it down below in the description. If you would like to know how you can actually add a text to the lock screen on your iOS device, make sure to click this video right here because there I'm going to explain it really deeply.